Page 798, number 13. Find the limit. And we're looking for the limit as x approaches negative 1 of this expression. Well, if I plug negative 1 in my denominator here, I'll get negative 1 plus 4 minus negative 1 minus 4. I'll get 0 in my denominator. So we can't just use direct substitution. We're going to have to try to factor the numerator and denominator. Well, since x is approaching negative 1, I'm guessing that negative 1 will be a 0 of both the numerator and denominator, which means I'm guessing that x plus 1 will be a factor of both the numerator and the denominator. So let's see if that's indeed true. I'm going to divide the numerator by x plus 1, and let's use synthetic division. So I can write this as 1, 2, negative 1, negative 2, and remembering the rules of synthetic division, we add straight down, multiply diagonally. So if I add down, multiply diagonally, I will get a remainder of 0. That's perfect. That means this does divide out evenly. And it divides out to give me 1x squared plus 1x minus 2. Now, doing the same thing with my denominator, I'm going to divide 1x cubed plus 4x squared minus 1x minus 4 by x plus 1 using synthetic division. Adding down, multiplying diagonally gives me 0 remainder. That's perfect. So if I divide out x plus 1, I get x squared plus 3x minus 4. So now, those x plus 1's cancel out. Now can I use direct substitution? If I plug negative 1 in my denominator now, I get 1 minus 3 minus 4. It does work. So now I'm going to plug negative 1 in my numerator and denominator. Plugging it in up here, negative 1 squared is 1. Minus 1 is 0. Minus 2 is my numerator. Plugging negative 1 in the denominator, I get 1. Minus 3 is negative 2. Minus 4 is negative 6. Or the limit of that expression as x approaches negative 1 the value of that expression approaches one-third.